with Damon. We are today looking for some Garrick. And we got our bait, but it's in a bit of a ball. I don't think it's gonna work like that. <laughs> I'm fishing today with the, the Pen Talk Star Drag. Got about 15 kilo um, Kingfisher line on. I'm fishing with the uh, uh, 060 fluorocarbon leader, a Gamagatsu J hook, Kimity Sharpened, and the, the, the Talk Game Fish uh, series rod. It's about a 15 pound, 20 pound outfit. Great for the Garrick. The, the, the Star Drags are a fantastic drag, so when that fish nods, doesn't jerk, doesn't pull the hooks out, we've got our bait ready to rock and roll. Going to get a bait to the order. <laughs> My bait for the morning is going to be a little live Mackie. I like to use a single J hook, and, and what I do, some guys put it through the top lip. I actually like putting it through this section here. If you have a look carefully, you can see there's a bit of a nostril and there's a hollow part. Go through there and out the other side. It's actually it's a hard section there where it doesn't rip out. But when you do get a pull and you and you actually eventually set the hook it does pop out and into the fish's mouth. We like to use one hook so it doesn't hurt the fish. And uh, let's get it in the water. Now for the Garrick, I like to set two lines. One fairly far back at about uh, 40 odd meters, 45 meters. You can have a look at the back of the boat. The fish is eating the bait. Look at oh gee! <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. I think he needed some glasses because he couldn't see the fish. Dropped it. That was a Garrick. Ah! Looks like he dropped the bait. Told you that guy needed glasses. He couldn't see the fish. Oh, um, no. Normally they do come back for it. I'm hoping that carry on pulling the line, he'll, he'll come jump back on. Yeah, there we go, there we go. He's jumped back on. I'm gonna let him eat quite a bit. I've got a big bait on and a, a smallish hook. So I'm gonna let, give this guy some time to get the bait. The way this is fighting, it's actually going towards the beach, and uh, that's normally a, a great sign. That's a very good sign. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Beautiful day, amazing, amazing water. This is why we go fishing. Always hard pounding stuff here when the fish is quite close because especially fishing with smaller hooks. Every time he shakes his head, the knees start wobbling. <laughs> so I've stopped the boat now, we're far enough off the beach so we shouldn't drift back on into shore. We can play the fish nicely over here now. As you can see, the hook is hooked in the lip, and that's why we use a single. But as much as it's great to release the fish, it's a, a hard jumping experience <laughs> landing it because this hook can just at the right angle, the right angle, pop out. Probably a good 12 kilos, and this muscle, absolute power, power. <laughs> okay, well, we've had this guy out the water long enough. Taking our photo and to get him back to definitely fight another day.
Okay, this guy's ready to go. Thanks, buddy. It's been an absolutely brilliant fight. Thanks, Davo. Yeah, okay. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, well done, man. Jeez. Well, as I mentioned, it's, it's, the, it's, it's the best feeling in fishing. It. You set out early morning before the sun, go get your live bait, make sure that they're well and healthy, make sure the boat is prepped. Come to the spot. It took us an hour to get here. We searched around, we found a few sharks, but eventually we got that bite. <laughs> 